All right, my name is Tyler aka Nanogenix, and today guys we are doing something special because I finally got my Elgato HD60 Pro. Um, so this is going to allow me to stream even better than before because I, I don't know why I was going for my phone, but of course what I normally record with is my HD60. This is a fantastic device, but whenever you are streaming it does generate a bit of a lag uh, because of course it runs over USB 2.0 instead of 3.0. Um, but it still is fantastic for just recording and I will continue to use it. But now that we have this HD60 Pro, we can stream on Twitch, guys. So everyone asked me about streaming. It is finally, finally coming, finally here. It's gonna be fantastic. Matter of fact, we'll probably do some test streams either tonight or tomorrow just to kind of see how it goes. So definitely stay tuned to the channel because I'll throw a video live once I'm, I'm live on Twitch and I'll th throw out a tweet. So if you're not following me, go follow me over at Nanogenics on Twitter. But let's hop in here. Let's do an unboxing of this Elgato HD60 Pro. Um, let's go ahead. I kind of I kind of already ripped it just a little bit so it'd be easier for me to hop in there. Uh, but shout out to Elgato, of course, for sending me this device so I could stream for you guys. Um, and of course, this is going to be an overview of this device as well. So we're going to show off some gameplay from, uh, you know, Dokkan Battle on my phone to uh, PS4 to actual PC, PC recording through this device. So your skills immortalized. So there's that. And then when you open it up, boom. Ooh, they even have a little sticker in there. That's everything you're getting inside this. That is that is awesome. So it comes with uh, it comes with actually two different back plates, depending on I guess where you know where you're throwing this in there. Let's see, so yeah, I've got you've got a bit of a shorter back plate for it right there, and of course the standard back plate right there. So and of course I'm running a uh, Corsair is 900D, and of course we're going to show it off inside the actual case itself. Uh, but there is the HD 60 Pro. Now the biggest difference between this and the HD, uh, I'm getting I'm getting things all over the place here. There's the biggest difference between this device and this device in the HD 60s is that I believe the max bitrate for this is actually uh, 60 megs uh, per second, and this is 40. I believe I believe is what that is. Now if any of you guys uh, know differently, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. And if you guys are excited for some Twitch streams and everything else, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. But this will also let me be able to record other gaming stuff and possibly upload to the channel um, even in better quality. So it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna things are gonna be interesting, guys. Now that I have this HD60 uh, Pro, let's see what else we've got in here. Because we've got this. That is of course if you're running a smaller rig uh, and you want to throw that in there. And then we've got a sticker. That's pretty cool, actually. That is actually pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of one of the, the hard plastic stickers that you would generally like uh, get from Intel or um, with a graphics card or something like that, MSI, EVGA, all that kind of stuff. We'll see what else is included. An HDMI cable. Of course, you don't need a USB cable because obviously this is running through uh, PCIe, but still, they include an HDMI cable, which is awesome. Elgato is, is great about including everything you need to get up and running. Um, so we'll go ahead. That's there. That is the unboxing of the HD 60 Pro. We'll go ahead and show it off inside my computer, um, which I'm pretty. I'm pretty excited about getting this in there. Actually, it's 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 clean looking, and it, I don't know. I think it'll look pretty good. Let's go ahead and let's show off what some of the, what some of the gameplay looks like using this device. All right, guys. We're gonna start the gameplay off with, of course, Battlefield One here on PC. It's running in 1080p max settings. Um, that might be the only con if you are a PC player you might run into is that the max resolution you're able to, to uh, film at or record at is, of course, 1080p. But you probably knew that getting into this, and really, 4K capture cards aren't really a thing yet, at least not to the average consumer. So it's not really something that you should even worry about, anyways, because when streaming and the majority of uh, content on YouTube is enjoyed in 1080p just fine. Uh, up next, we're going to show off some PS4 gameplay, and after that, we'll show off some Android gameplay, but I just wanted to go ahead and take a second to give a huge shout-out to Elgato for sending me this device. I'll throw a link to uh, this device out on Amazon in the description. Uh, you guys can go check it out if this is something you are absolutely interested in. Go check it out, because I can highly recommend it. I am, I've got to use it for about two days now. Uh, I wanted to kind of give it a, give it a go and actually use it in the real world for a bit before I, I finished my unboxing and kind of did my my overview of it. But otherwise, my experience with it has been incredible. Uh, my issue 60 is awesome, but uh, this thing having an actual live stream you can see and uh, the Twitch stream that we just got through doing was incredible. So uh, definitely props to Elgato for making such an awesome, awesome device. Super install, super easy install, all that good stuff. Uh, anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, consider hitting that like button. If you're new here, consider that subscribe button. But otherwise, 
You guys have a great, great day. Nano Jinx here signing off. You guys keep on keeping on. Stay tuned for, of course, more videos. All right, guys. Bye.